I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 30, verse 10. Accuse not his servant unto his master, lest he curse thee, and thou be found guilty. Here the Spirit of God warns us to be cautious about every word that we speak of others. We have the freedom to use our tongue either to bless people or to add more grief to their lives. Here the Spirit of God is telling us how our words can add burden to the pain of a servant. A servant is the one who is weak materially and suffers much in his life. He already goes through much affliction because of his poor circumstances. He is serving his master so that he can have a good life under the wings of his master. He also has the desire to enjoy his life with all its comforts like the others do. But a servant is bound to serve his master as he has no other option other than that. So when we accuse a servant and to his master, though there is no one to stand up for him, we need to remember that heaven is taking note of his pitiable situation and stands for his aid as the Creator loves each soul no matter what their position and what power they have. And so if the servant cries before the Lord or curses thee out of his grief, then the scripture says we'll be found guilty in the eyes of the Lord and have to bear its consequences. We are not supposed to take advantage of the poor condition of the other person. No one in this world is born as a perfect person. Each one learns from his or her mistakes and grows to perfection. I am talking about the physical aspect of a person, not about the spiritual one. And God wants His creation to help each other in this process of learning so that we may learn to care and love each other with a mind like a father in heaven. And it pains the Lord when we abuse the weak and the helpless. That is why, through His divine law, we can see how God clearly warns His people not to abuse the fatherless and the widows. They are instructed to take care of their servants and the strangers. We can see the loving heart of the Lord towards His creation revealed through the law. God not only watches our deeds, but God looks at our hearts and the intentions that are within. We may not have done any wrong deed to the servant, but when we accuse them, it shows the filth in our mind that enjoys the misery of others. When we accuse a servant, it is for sure that the master may believe our words and deal with him in a harsh manner. It shows that our mere words can destroy or cause much suffering in the lives of other people. And the Lord will judge us for such disgraceful words and acts that may seem less important for us. So how careful we need to be in our life. If the Lord wants the Old Testament people who are still under the bondage of sin to be much careful about the words they utter and the intentions of their heart, then how much more does the Lord watch us who are being called to be the heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ? We need to realize this great fact that God is not just interested in our prayer and worship. Prayer and worship makes sense in the eyes of the Lord if we walk in the right manner which God desires from our life. And if we love the Lord, it will be seen and alive through our obedience towards the Word of God. Christian life is not about following some rituals or traditions of a man-made religion, but it is a life that we are living abiding in Christ, and that sweet union with Holy God will be revealed in every phase of our life. We who were sinners and were living according to our sinful nature, we have been saved from sin, and now we are born again. We have that divine nature in us that shows the beauty and glory of the eternal divine life. And that is not revealed just through prayer and worship, but through every circumstance in our life. Lord Jesus Christ, whose footsteps we are bound to follow, lived in this world as a perfect man so that we can learn from his life. Before entering the ministry, at the time of baptism, the human life of Lord Jesus was stamped as the perfect one by heaven that please the Heavenly Father. And heaven expects us to have the same Christ-like nature if we are the children of God. 
Many a times we are more interested to have the blessings of heaven rather than growing to the stature of Christ. Read the word of God to teach others, but forget to correct our life looking at the mirror of the true word of God. Let us have a heart to search our infirmities in the light of the word of God so that we may live in this world of darkness as the children of light. We need to remember that Holy Spirit God is dwelling in us, not just to reveal His power through our lives, but we are supposed to be the true witness of Christ in this world of sin. Our life must be a witness to the world that Lord Jesus came to this world to save us from the bondage of sin. Through Christ we are free from sin and that freedom will be revealed in our nature, in our thoughts, words and deeds. If not, our newborn experience is of no use. Let the world know that we are the children of Holy God. If not, we will be judged by heaven for all the words and acts of our life. The judgment is not only for the unbelievers, but we the children of God will also be judged for everything that we do in our life. That is why Lord Jesus told us, it is better to cut off an organ from our body if it offends us than to end up in eternal hell with a good body. So let us be more careful about our life and give heed to every minute detail of our life so that we are worthy to be called the children of God. And may the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us. Thank you for your precious word. Thank you for your warnings. Lord, help us to be careful in our conduct, in our character. Help us to follow in your footsteps. Help us to grow to your stature. May your name be glorified. Lead us and guide us. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.